Wait, wait, I just discovered I forgot this one. Hi, how are you guys? Today I thought about trying to experiment with the same thing that we did with the eyeshadows, but actually swatching the blushes and the lipsticks. Um, what do you guys think? Come with me, let's try some things. So, first, I have my Phytosurgeon's blush and in my little box of goodness. <laughs> I have many powder and cream blushes, a lot of different textures. We can go over each one of them and I suppose I suppose I could do a highlighter too because like it or not they kind of mix in the cheeks and I don't have as many as many products. So yeah. yeah. So you can better see. So why not put it all together, right? Um I think though those are all the cheek products, let's call it like that, cheek products products collection. So we can swatch them and play a little bit. So let's go with one of my oldest ones, it's closest. So as I told you guys before, I actually like don't use it uh, much more, but like you can see like I panned it on the highlighter. I don't use it much uh, anymore because, well, it doesn't dry out completely. So it, it stays very, um, not sticky but emollient like very like um, almost oily in the cheeks and now that I don't have dry skin anymore because I stopped taking the pill this is not such a great thing for me but let's watch them <laughs> this is not hair hairs this is like uh, brush hair <laughs> uh, let's see yeah because I used to apply that with the brush so see it's like very like very buttery very nice uh, you can you can definitely build uh, the color up but it it somehow reminds me of um you know those old lipsticks that used to come in fruit in a fruit package like a, a strawberry and a grape and you would open it would be like those creams it's like that but in high quality it's very luxurious don't get me wrong it's just it doesn't dry, it's like a gloss, you'll see, it's still glossy, it's still gliding, and you can still buff it out, see? So, this is like, it's lovely, it's lovely, and it's actually very close to a real, like, burn blush color for me, but it's too um, emollient for someone with combo to normal skin, so not the best product for me anymore. And um, I don't know many people that will like it, so like I don't have many friends here in Canada. Yeah, like they use makeup. So um, this is the highlighter. You see, it's like a pink champagne color, which matches very well the blush, and it's for fair light skin. And, well, with cool on the tones, I suppose it's perfect. See, it's like beautiful glow but again doesn't dry completely so during the day you could even almost mistake it as like just being oily and that's not like the best look for me <laughs> right I think like people that have oily skin they don't really dig that kind of thing oh let me try to smudge it a little bit so you guys can see so see it's like very pretty if you have dry skin go for it I don't so it's a little tricky product for me to use. We can try also like in the end, I can try to come back and try to smudge it. And you guys will see that it did not dry down. So that's causes. And sorry, I forgot to say eighth mousse in cream. That's like the only one I have. So I suppose you guys can know it by now. So very similar color, as you can see, the Rare Beauty, Grace. I chose this color because I am a, like, I'm not fair, but I'm light, maybe light medium when I'm tanned. I think you guys can see. <laughs> uh, though my arm is the most, the, the darkest part on my, on me, for sure. So, 
uh, and I'm neutral to cool, undertones, very little cool, undertones, neutral cool. So these types of colors tend to look good, like the pink peach and the pink. So as everyone knows, see, you, I think you can also tell, let's, let's see if you can tell. This is already dry almost, and this part that is a little... See, see, it's dry already. It's like barely smudging and I just applied it, which some people find it hard to, to deal with in the cheeks and I agree. That's why you have to be very careful. But man, this is like <laughs> gorgeous. And this color is even better for me because it has a little more warmth than the Eighth Muse. I don't know if you guys can see Eighth Muse has almost a, more blue. It, not almost, it does. It does have more blue to it. So this one actually looks like it's a burn or a rash, which is like kind of what you want because it's the natural color of your skin. But you can apply much less. Like first, always clean because when you take it out of the package, the Rare Beauty Blush, you get a lot of products. You clean it up like completely. It's not softly, like you really clean it up. Then... You have almost nothing, and that's exactly what you want, see? You just have to work fast with it. Don't apply dots in both cheeks and then blend. Apply one dot, blend, one dot, blend, and build it up. That's the secret, but like, it's gorgeous. I want to apply it on my cheeks right now. Um, so this is the Ilia one, Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment in Sing. I bought it for like autumn and winter and this is more like a burgundy color almost a marsala like a mulberry kind of color so it's like deep red uh, this is also very pig pigmented so I usually like apply it carefully and it's almost like the darkest shades of what I have here so this is a little cooler this is a little bit warm, but still in the neutral cool zone. And this is uh, a little more, like a little stronger, let's say, like a little deeper. And if you need, you can go back and apply more. I would say that this one, as, a, as far as I remember, this one does not completely dry down. So we would, we would check those affirmations in the end when you come back. Oh, and it has a fantastic smell, fantastic smell. Sorry, I'm a little far from the... Yeah, much better now. So, it has a fantastic smell. Mm. It's like a vanilla smell, but it's not a vanilla cheap smell. It's a good vanilla smell. So, I think you can see here. Like, it's a little deeper, a little more pink, but it's also very believable color and also like I was very cheer let's let's build it up so you can see the actual uh burgundy color I think like doing swatches that are a little more blended like that they are more real <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna try to do some more saturated so you can see better the color but see it is a color that is very believable on the skin as like a rash and a natural color that occurs in the skin. So you can see more lilac, little bit of lilac. Then, oh, this is the highlighter from Eighth Muse. Then you get Rare Beauty, very believable color. And this is the Ilia Multi Haze. Now, still in cream products, we go with Simmer from Skin Spark from Phytosurgeon. Oh, it's like butter. So nice, so nice. Let's see. You can clearly see that I have a theme. And I don't regret it. <laughs> it, it those are colors that look good on me. And it dries down. See, it's still, it still like has much more ma malleability than the Rare Beauty. And the good thing is that it dries down after a while, like the Rare Beauty. I'm just trying to make an ombre effect here so you guys can see like levels of application. Also, very believable color. Like those two, the Rare Beauty and uh, the Phytosurgeons. Of course, it's the color I've chose 
too but like if you have similar colors into mine you already know it's gonna look good probably so see both of them uh, have a little more warmth in them the simmer from Fido Surgeons has a, a little more so it will be more or less like this if I would put a, an um, scale so almost lilac a little less uh, lilac but also not going in warm territory this is almost like it's almost neutral and this is a little bit of warm so you see you can see like almost like a salmon I don't know how it's appearing in the video but it's still kind of neutral like it's the perfect pink right in the middle almost neutral um so now oh this fell okay so now just to stay in the color those are all powders now and just those two are blushes so I'm gonna start with uh, the Natura one uh, I know you guys can't get it probably unless you're in Brazil and even then this is horribly old uh, but it still works well so I'm gonna swatch just so you guys can understand like compare the colors this is a little bit more warm It's very, this is very beginner friendly because it doesn't build up too fast so you can just keep applying until you're happy with it. But it's not bad quality at all. Like when I bought this, I did not think it would be that great. I think I bought two and I got rid of one because of the color. But this one is great. Look at this. Look at this, also very believable, like, also very believable, rash color, right? Like, if you compare, like, here, yes, this is good, so. It's very similar to the Phytosurgeon, and then to the Rare Beauty, and a little distant from the Cosas one. Again, this is, those are my color choices, it doesn't mean that they're bad or good, it just means that the colors I chose because I wanted a little bit of variety to play with colors and textures and you know different brands but because of the color and a combination of color and texture I have my favorites which will be those two here um, and this one for powder for sure this one's brand new is the bird bees in cinnamon and I bought it because everyone raves about it and I was like oh I want to see how this color will look on me and I was prepared to well, I was prepared for it to look horrible, um, I must say. Uh, but actually, no, because it's when you apply it, it's so light, it's so easy to control. It doesn't, it doesn't. It does give me a lot of warmth. I know, oops. It does, does give me a lot of warmth, and it's very beautiful, slowing, <laughs> slow build. And it has almost a pearl sense to it like a luminosity for anything, which you would never guess from the package, but it does. And it's beautiful. So it's almost like a bronzer, um, a bronzer and a highlighter. Like it's like those percent bronze, no glitter on it and very pretty. I haven't used this enough um, because of my, what, oops. I haven't used this enough because of the dermatitis problem, but I really do wish I, Used it more in the, during the summer. I'll have I have I have I have chances to do that still. I, I do believe that. So now use going to Kalidas. So, uh, so as you can see, going to browser counter territory. This color, which is the chi chisel, like you can see here, is a chisel from the Cool and Light from Kalidas, and this is the shade, right? So this one is the warmest color in the cool. This is warm on me. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is like a perfect <laughs> bronzer slash contour on me. And I, I know it's not, it, it's easy, like when you compare both, it's like, what? How? This is a contour, not on me because I'm very neutral. So let's, let's try it. Let's put it one beside the other. It, it doesn't swatch as well, but on the face, it's perfect because you can build it up slowly and you don't get that 
mud feeling on your face because you have a lot of control over it. You just keep building it and it's foolproof, dummy proof, let's say. So see, it's it doesn't look as cold when you look at it in my skin. This one starts to get very yellow, very, very yellow and orangey, which also looks in the package, but this is not as cold. I will, I will swatch out the shade for you and you see this is cold. Like it's almost gray. And in my skin right now, because it's tanned, it almost doesn't show up. <laughs> Let's uh, see, it almost doesn't show up because I'm just very tanned right now. But it's, I think you can see like, uh, I think you can see there's a gray cast here, right? Because it's very, uh, here, because it's very cold. This one's warm and it does warm up my face. But of course, the days where I'm more tanned as like right now, it's not going to warm up as well. So stuff like this is going to help me. This one, I'm not like. I, <laughs> the few shade is like, uh, yeah, it's going to be too light for me right now. I'm super tanned. But when I'm not tanned, this is the color of my skin almost. It's just a little bit highlighter. And now um, I'm going to go into the highlighters. I'm not a big fan of highlighters and I don't use much highlighters because I have oily skin. So those I bought. Well, those are, this one I bought when I was still with um, mixed oily skin combo. This one I bought when I actually for an all over high shadow. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see how it goes. But honestly, this is like, it's a lot of uh, shine, a lot of shine. And I, oh my God, oh my God, accident, accident. And I don't tend to like that much shine on my face for obvious reasons, because I am oily, right? Um, <laughs> I don't need it. So that's all of the bad things about the Kosas one too, because it doesn't suck very well. It just get a little oily if you apply it a little more. And then it just, it's like my face. Oh, it's very, very, very shiny. Um, I know with primers and matte foundations, you can control that effect. But the thing is, I don't like a matte foundations because they have very textured skin. So, yeah, that's a problem. So I, I like powders, but I don't like powders that are this shiny as a highlighter. Let me show you. Let me show you again. It is very, very shiny. Um... It is a good kind of shiny, it's metallic, and it's not glittery. So honestly, it's one of the best types of highlighters for me, but it's still a little bit too much. I'm not very used to highlighters, so I'm still <laughs> I'm still learning how to deal with this. So you can see that also this is a champagne, very neutral, almost cool color. This is a little more pinkish. I like it a lot. I, I think you can see like I hit the pen like a lot on this. This is the mini, but I I did hit the pen this. It's been a while now. I do use my things. That's why I, I don't, I try not to buy many because I know I don't need. See this one. Oh, that's going to be an awesome comparison. Why do I use this one much more? Look how much more subtle it is. It is much more believable. And I'm not criticizing anyone, I'm just saying this. Let me see the name. The Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit is much more believable. It's still metallic, but it's less shiny. See? It's still metallic, but less shiny. So this one is much harder for me to use and to get comfortable. And it, this one, this one's perfect. I even use it in the tip of my nose sometimes. It's been a while, but I used to do that a lot. This one for me, it's more like an eyeshadow, honestly. And this one's like totally matte. It's just like for the brow bone or something like that. So like comparing the shades.
Nice. Now let's do the test. Let's see. This is Cosa's 8th Muse. See? Oh, see? It's blending to nothing. Oh, God. See? See what I'm talking about? I can't have that. If you have oily skin, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna go all over your face. <laughs> I, I just, I don't, I, I don't have patience for that. See? Same thing with the highlighter. I... Maybe if you apply like very, very, very little, it will be okay. But I mean, you 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 will barely see that at the point. So look, the rare beauty. Oh, sorry, that's like glitter from the it muse. But the rare beauty, the the rare beauty doesn't budge at all. This is the Ilia. Oh yes, it's still going, but like not not badly. But it still doesn't dry out completely, and that kind of bothers me a little. It's sticky, it's sticky. It's like, ah, uh, things like, yeah, it's sticky. I don't like that. Phytos, phytosurgeon, it, it moves a little bit. I think you can see, but it's very little and it's not sticky. It feels like my skin is moisturized, not sticky. It, it has almost the same set as uh, Sadawa's Rare Beauty, not as much, a little less. But it's so sticky, it doesn't move a lot, like you have to really pull it. And even then, like, like if you do, if you scratch your, your cheek, of course, like you, you're gonna move your makeup like that, you're gonna remove it. But it's like, those are my two best ones. And that's an obvious reason why, though, this looks beautiful. See, if you have dry skin, this is gorgeous. Um, the Indian one's nice. It's just like I hate the stickiness. I hate stickiness anywhere. Like just no, don't, just don't do it. And <laughs> those two, the Rare Beauty and the Fifado Surgeons, for sure, the best ones. Those are powder formulas in the other arm, so I don't think there's like much news. <laughs> of course, the glitter is gonna move a little. See, it's gonna move. There's no cream to hold it off, and and it's that's what it is. Da -da -da -da. So you can see a tendency in colors. They are the the ones that I like more are more are neutral, a little bit cooler. Uh, they have a little hint of warmth. They are not like very cool. And my bronzers slash um, my bronzers slash contours are very neutral. I have this one that leans a lot on the orange territory. Oh my god. I have Aether Beauty everywhere. <laughs> my fault though, my fault. I ruined the product. Um, I kind of took a slice out of it and it flew everywhere. But that's fine. Um, it's glitter, like a lot of glitter, glitter can, I can just cover myself in glitter and that will be fine. But um, going back, this is orangey and warm, but in a, pleasant way like there's something like diffuse and nice about it that makes it very wearable i think and this is looks cold and neutral because that's 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 my skin and that was look that's what looks good on me and when it comes to highlighters i like neutrals to a little cool like those champagne is a little pinkish i think they look very realistic on me but not as much glitter as an Aether beauty more like usable like a uh, benefit than the line that's it wait wait i just discovered i forgot this one this one was the warmest one that i bought as of yet i need to swatch that for you i don't think that this box is working very well <laughs> I, it got lost it can't get lost i can't have a box that doesn't allow me to see what i have i'm gonna fix that but now we're talking about the Quo Beauty Lightweight Cream Blush. And this is the uh, Halo 35 color. And, oh, yes. So <laughs> awesome dry down, awesome payoff. I just like, I really blurred it a lot here. Uh, I smudged it a lot, but it, it's like a very similar color to the... And phytosurgeon right and yeah you can see phytosurgeon is just a little bit 
pinker in the package, but honestly, I think the quote's giving me pinker vibes on my arm, which is interesting. Yeah, see, you can build up very easily. It doesn't get patchy. Very easy to build up. Beautiful color. Oh, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that my little box is gonna work very well if I keep if I keep missing my makeup like that and losing them losing it inside this box is it mm. well while I don't play a lot with makeup like on my face every day this is fine it's not gonna be fine for long though it's not that's it any questions ask me in the comments thank you very much for watching i hope you guys like it i have a lot of fun and like now i really want to just oh my god why am i doing this to myself but i'm inspired and i hope i got to inspire you guys to maybe you discover some makeup that you want to try maybe you just discovered that you want to try and play more with your makeup which is also great don't buy anything you don't need and you, you think about it if you're going to use it before buying don't buy it just for because you saw someone and you thought that it might work even though you have like 3,000 of those already in your collection. Don't do that because you're not going to use it. Be very conscious about it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you didn't. Um, I thank you very much for having patience and bearing with me here. And I hope you were inspired too like I am. Thank you. Have a nice day, night, afternoon, whatever. <laughs>